Well, good day too. Woo, slippery. How's she hanging? Uh, you guys know what's going on here, most of you. So, anyways, trying to get through things. My mom is gone, if you didn't know, and uh, she didn't suffer. She she went peacefully, so that's sad, but she was sick for a lot of years with that Parkinson's disease, and she was in the final stage of it and uh, basically lost her ability to swallow. So uh, while she was eating her food and stuff, uh, she aspirated food into her lungs, which caused an infection, which ended up, which was what got her. So. It's really sad, but 27 years she struggled with that. So, anyways, trying to get over it. It's really cold today. <clears throat> I wanted to do a grimy cold start on the new truck here. Let's see uh, how cold it is here. Is it gonna tell me on the dewy here? Do I have to put the key in? Oh, come, come on, it should come up with the display here. Should it not? <gasps> there it comes. Oh, and it's so cold. And it is not telling me the temperature. Hmm. <clears throat> okay then. Well, I'll put the key in. I want to do a remote start, but uh, let's put the. So it says 10 degrees, minus 19. <laughs> minus 19 degrees higher. So that's not super, super, really super, super cold. I know you guys out. Uh, West of us get like the minus 40s, but you know what? I'll take minus 19 any day. <laughs> so, we'll do a grimy cold start here just off the remote, or I could do it off my phone, but I'll just do it off the remote here. So, here we go. I'm wanting to see how fast it turns over, like when it's a nice day, it's like really fast, you know. But, uh, you know, I don't know if they've changed starters on these things for. The uh, auto shut off and auto start thing, so it's faster if you're gonna light it and kind of goes right. Still don't understand that system, but anyways, here we go. Turned over a little faster, but than uh, we'll say the last truck would have. But it's pretty cold here. <laughs> I'm really curious to see if there's any blue smoke or anything that comes out the back. It shouldn't be with a brand new engine, but my other truck was doing that a little bit. Yeah, the time you get some lots oh, this regular steamy smoke. That started pretty good though for sitting here all all yesterday and uh, it was minus oh about 15 15 18 yesterday too so all last night too and it was freaking cold. I have to switch hands because it's so cold. Oh. Anyways, she started good. Don't plug it in. Apparently it'll catch fire on the, uh, I have to get that in yet. I did message my guy on the plug-in guy here. Apparently there's something wrong and they installed something wrong with the splice or something to do with the splicing of it. You get water in there and short out and then catch fire if you put power to it. So that's fun, but uh, I did call my guy and he says, oh, they haven't released parts yet for it. I'm like, oh, well, that's great. Let's put a recall out and not have parts for it. So anyways, I don't know. I gotta go open the gate. I gotta go do some snow. It is really cold out today, so I'm gonna really have to put on all my, my nice layers. I've got uh, my insulated pants on right now, which is good. And then I've got uh, my uh, three layers of shirts on and my big coat then I'm gonna put another big coat on that and then another pair of snow pants so <clears throat> let's find the keys I'm taking you through the gate I didn't go past the gate if you know what I mean technically that would be past the gate Walking back from the gate. There we go. Well, I'll go get my sweeper going. That's gonna be friggin' cold. Put about 15 layers of gloves on. Ooh, I should have done a cold start on the Toyota, except I don't have my key for that right now. It's inside still, so. Well, that thing started pretty good. Pretty happy with that. And, uh, yeah, for, you know, 
super cold out here, that's alright. I really like the app too for starting because you can uh, start it with that remotely anywhere in the world, which is kind of cool. And uh, you can uh, add minutes to it if you want. If you want to add another 15 minutes to it, you just click on the thing and it adds more time to it. So I think the longest you can actually run off the key is, uh, key started like that is 15 minutes. So, poor thing. Anyways, ooh, I gotta go do snow. We'll be back in a bit. A coyote come down here or something, not super too big. Coyote prints, it looks like. And he, uh, went that way and then one of them maybe there was two of them looks like there was two of them went this way and then back around the trail and up that way somewhere that's interesting eh? and this guy went right across the bridge they're smart they're not going to go across the water if they don't have to it looks like he kind of went over that way too so he must have gone up through that bush sweet anyways i'm heading back home the roads are all done now it is still cold out here but it's nice and sunny out uh, once I get up to the house here, I'm going to see if I can see what I seen, what I saw earlier here, which was kind of cool. It was one of those, uh, uh, sun dogs, I think my mom used to call them anyways. And it's when it's really cold outside and you get, uh, I think it's ice crystals in there and it kind of shines through it weird and it makes this real weird bright thing in the sky that's not a sun. So, I don't know. Oh, there's one right there, actually. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's kind of a weird sort of light thing there. But anyways, that's what she used to call them, sun dogs. It's usually one on each either side of the sun if we look. I got trees here now, it's probably I can't see any, but uh, oh, that's cold out here. So anyways, <laughs> hopefully you enjoy the grimy cold start. And uh, it's just too cold out here to do anything today, so I think it's a good day to head inside and play some video games and uh, do some recording for you guys for that. So, I don't know what I'm going to do today, but uh, we'll see. Ooh, wee! You guys have a good day. That's really cold out here and windy. So it's about minus 30 with the wind chill factor, and I can feel that right now. So, catch you all later. Thanks again. You guys have a good day.